hello everyone in this lecture you will learn how to publish your app on google play store so for publishing your app on google play store you have access of google play console if you do not have a account on google play console then you have to register on it okay after registration you will uh, go to the home then after that you have a find button called create app then you have to click on create app button after that you have to enter your app name uh, let's put our app name is game store okay after that select the app type if your app is a gaming so you select game otherwise select app okay our game store app is a game type after that you have to select is your app free or paid uh, so if you have integrated any functionality like uh, in-app purchase then select paid otherwise select free okay after that uh, uh, accept these ones and uh, now click on create app button scroll down mm. oh, wait. Uh, then in the setup your app section uh, click on view task then after that you have to complete all these steps one by one okay first of all click on set privacy policy uh, give a privacy policy or from your domain let's uh, this is our own po policy okay so let's copy paste it here okay after that uh, click on save button now click here to go back uh, scroll down and uh, select app access right uh, app access is basically uh, to provide an access to the app for checking to the google stream okay uh, if you have integrated a login system in your app then you have to select this option okay after that you have to add instructions for login how to login and with the login username or id password should you have to provide okay if you do not have any login system so then select this one okay so now press save again go back scroll down and select ads it is asking that if your app have ads then select yes otherwise no okay select the save go back scroll down and select content rating uh, select to start questionnaire you have to provide a valid email address you can provide any email address it is not an issue uh, select a category of your app if a, your app type is a game then select the game if you have a chat application or messaging application then select the social or communication type i'll say if you have any other type of apps then you select this one okay our app is a game type so we are selecting game now click on next after that uh, you have to select no also no uh, this should also no and then again no it is also no select this one no and uh, homer no miscellaneous no and the, all these set allows no Okay.
you have to read before going to according to your app okay our app doesn't meet any kind of uh, these things so we are putting no okay now uh, click on this two and now then click on save button after save click on next then you have to go back scroll down then select content rating again okay now click on edit okay. now then press next press next again okay now save okay after save now go back again After that, uh, you have to click on target audience. Select uh, your type of age group 18 and over. Okay, press next. Uh, if your app is for kids, then you select no. And if your app is not for kids, then select yes. Okay. Save. Go back, scroll down, select new app. If your app is news type, then select yes, otherwise no. If you select yes, then you have to provide some documentation about the news policy. Okay, now go back, select COVID-19, select the last one press save go back again scroll down select data safety uh, make sure that your data safety form should be uh, filled by according to your apps permission which you have used in your manifest file otherwise your app can be rejected and finally suspended okay basically all the users around the globe uh, have issue with this data safety form okay if uh, play console send you email about uh, data safety then it is not an issue of app it is the issue of this form because you not fill it correctly as per the required uh, dependency used in your app okay so you have to fill it correctly data safety now press next you have to uh, as you can see our app does not require any type of data type so you can select no but if you select no then again your app can be suspended because there uh, is no such app which cannot need anything so you should have to select yes also okay after that uh, you have to confirm this one okay now select this one because our this app does not require to create an account okay select this one okay now press next if your app uses any type of location then you have to select this this one and if you have integrated your ad system from voltage or any other system then you should have to uh, select this one otherwise you cannot show ads according to the genders and location based okay but if you select this one then again you have to fill a uh, form when you uploading your app file on play store play console okay if you fill it wrong then again your app can be suspended so if you are using in a location in your app then you have to provide a a detailed video where and why and how to using uh, need of this location okay and your video should be on youtube and uh, you have to provide a youtube video link to google team okay it will ask automatically when you select this one and go to the next and finally upload the apk okay so do not worry about it it will ask you automatically as you can see we not need any any kind of this data because we not have 
सर्च ऐप ओके बट गो डाउन एंड देर इज नथिंग ओके बट फॉर वेब ब्राउजिंग वेब ब्राउजिंग हिस्ट्री वे कौन वी कैन ऑल्सो सिलेक्ट दिस वन बट एज यू कैन सी वी आर नॉट यूजिंग एनी वेब व्यू ओके सो इट इज नॉट फॉर अस डिवाइस आई डी वी कैन सो सिलेक्ट सिंपली दिस वन फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ एप जस्ट सिलेक्ट सिलेक्ट दिस वन ओके नो इशू जस्ट प्रेस नेक्स्ट सिलेक्ट दिस वन ओके सिलेक्ट दिस वन आफ्टर डेट सिलेक्ट यस कलेक्टेड ओके आफ्टर डेट यूज द एप फंक्शनैलिटी स्क्रोल डाउन एंड अकाउंट मैनेजमेंट ओके वन मोर थिंग इज रिमेनिंग यस डेटा कलेक्शन इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके नाउ प्रेस सेव आफ्टर डेट देन गो टू नेक्स्ट स्क्रोल डाउन एंड एवरीथिंग इज फाइन आफ्टर डेट क्लिक ऑन थ्री डॉट्स आइकन एंड सिलेक्ट सेव चेंज इट हैज बीन सेव्ड ओके नाउ स्क्रोल अप एंड गो बैक अगेन स्क्रोल डाउन गो टू गवर्नमेंट एप्स एज यू कैन सी इट इज ए प्राइवेट एप सो सिलेक्ट नो ओके देन सेव गो बैक अगेन स्क्रोल डाउन एंड सिलेक्ट फाइनेंशियल सर्विस फीचर्स Uh, as you can see, we are not using any kind of these features in our app. So just go scroll down and read it by yourself. And uh, in our case, our app meets only this one. Okay, so select this one and press next. After that, uh, it is saying that you not need to submit any kind of additional documentation because if you select any features, financial features. then you have to provide a documentation to the google to check whether it is a uh, legit or not okay so now click on three dots icon and press save go back after go to back uh, then go again and select an app category and contact information click on this edit button Select app time already game and category should be game type. As you can see, our app have all these games. So just simply select any one. Not an issue. Oh no. Mm, yes, fine. Okay. After that, uh, you have to enter this info carefully. If you enter anything wrong, then you cannot display ads. Okay. So select edit. Enter your Valid email address. Phone number. Phone number. Yeah, should be in international format. Okay. Website. Ah, uh, yes. This is necessary step if you want to show ads on your app. then you have to provide that website in which you have added app ads.txt file right okay so for that if you have added a app.txt file on this domain then you have to provide this website and suppose that if you have added a uh, App as dot txt file. You have uh, uploaded your app dot as txt file on this do domain. Okay, then you have to provide this website. Okay. Now press save. Close it. Uh, go down, and there is nothing. Okay, it is automatically saved. Now you have to click on all apps. After that, you have to select your app which you have recently created, which is what game store. Scroll down. 
now mm, just one thing is remain uh, click on it again and let's think what happened mm, i can't see anything here yes category is remaining our uh, so yes it was by mistake remaining just select action and save this one okay now it has been done yes now go back select the app I scroll down now select set up your store listing in the store listing you have to provide app description names or description logo etc okay uh, let's say short description will be play games online unlimited uh, and free right you have to write your own description okay we do not have a full description but you have to write a full description around 4000 characters okay so we didn't create it but uh, let's uh, add something if you you can't uh, skip uh, this step because it is uh, required okay so add uh, something mm. Okay, later you can add more. Okay, for now, let's add this one. Uh, after that, uh, in the graphics section, you have to add a app icon, which is necessary. App icon should be below 1 MB and the size should be 512 pixel by 512 pixel. Okay, click on upload. Uh, let me show you. These are our screenshots, three screenshots. You have at least uh, two screenshots to upload your app and one uh, featured graphic, which is shown if you have shared your image URL, sorry, uh, app URL to anyone, then this image will be uh, work as a image preview. Okay. Uh, its size should be 1024 into 500 pixel. Okay. And a your logo and logo should be 512 into 512 pixel and square image only okay now uh, copy uh, this one copy this one now click on upload paste this here and it is hand been done Okay. After uploading app, you have to upload a featured graphics, which I have told you just now. This one. Okay. Let me show you. This one is the featured graphic image. This one. Its size should be 1024 into 500 pixel only. Okay. now scroll down if you have created an intro video then you can add youtube video link here you have to provide only youtube video link do not provide any other video link after that you have to add your screenshot screenshot size is written there and you have to upload at least two screenshots click on upload select all these three screenshots and open it now it is starting uploading okay it has been done scroll down also upload it there same it is not an issue if you upload same okay just upload uh leave this not necessary also leave this it is not necessary now click on three dots icon and select save 
okay before saving make sure uh, everything is perfect to upload it successfully okay now click here and press save as you can see change is saved successfully okay now what we have to do we have to upload our app to here okay so uh, go back by clicking on all apps and as you can see it is showing our app name and logo now and now again click on this app okay uh, scroll down you have to click now create and publish a release okay now you have to select countries in which country do you want to publish your app if you want to publish your uh, app in all countries then you select all i'll say select one by one okay select one by one like this okay if you have a publish in all countries then select this one okay now it will publish in all countries okay press save uh, there is 177 countries okay good now what we have to do you have to go back again scroll down and now we have to create a release release basically is to upload your app which app release apk or release app file we have already created so let's upload it okay after you have to come here uh, what you can do um, sorry it is uploaded open testing we not have to upload in open testing okay we have to go to in the production i uh, suppose that if you are in the all app section here if you did not find where uh, and in which section do you have to upload the apk so just click uh, select your app and after that uh, go to the production in the release section select the production okay select production after that uh, click here create a new release or you can also create it here it is same okay now it is asking something new i didn't check let me check your app signing features will be fixed once you publish to open track google play integrated signing service help you to ensure that your app and games are expand the way and time get integration protection no good signing key do one for a bundle you must provide a signing for generate one using play app signing okay so just skip this for one now um, but it is not working so we have to select anything just to select this one to sign in key and uh, select this one use google generated key process is running just wait yeah uh, up our upload form is ready now okay uh, now click on upload and there is our app file you have you have to upload it okay now it's starting upload do not interrupt this process otherwise you have uh, get an error every time when you log in your play console so avoid any uh, cancellation directly from here but uh, it is a latest version of play console so you can cancel okay as you can see our apk has been uploaded as you can see version was one uh, our api level 24 minimum okay target sdk 34 which is the latest okay screen layout is 4 and required feature too okay so it has been done you have to just provide anything like uh, uh, version 
really okay so that your users can know what you have changed in this version okay now what you can do uh, you have to select next after that booyah uh, it is showing one error click on here and uh, it is saying that your app targets handle 33 and declare the advertising id in play console yeah right this uh, as like i have told you before that when we are working on a precise location or location as like if you choose location then it will ask a submit a form to here okay uh, which uh, that which i am asking to you okay so uh, no need to worry you have to provide it here now click on complete declaration it is basically for the advertising id uh, advertising id it is uh, you have to add advertising id in your manifest file but we didn't add it because uh, our, we are using uh, app lovin adds sdk so app lovin automatically by default include it in our project so but uh, here we have to declare it because we are using uh, android 13 plus devices okay our api level 34 okay so we have to declare it because it's the google new policies so let's declare it uh, what it is asking does your app use an advertising id yes click on this okay uh, as as you can see it is showing that your manifest file should include this this permission okay this permission it is already added by app Levin sdk by default okay uh, if uh, you can also add it it is not an issue if you add a double time okay but uh, now it has been done after the uh, sorry select yes because we have added and uh, now you have to tell why you have added okay so let's select uh, advertising or marketing select this one okay now it has been done now select save okay changes has been saved publishing is overview and now what we can do uh, we have to go back yeah everything is uh, done action need attention means we have to take the attention to incomplete task and action means uh, we have completed the ta required task okay you can check all these steps we have done previously okay so we not need now I just go production now again and you is this time you have to click on edit release after that uh, scroll down and uh, do nothing just press next okay uh, one warning is showing let me check there is no ob question file associated with this manual fk uh, you have to simply ignore this okay we not added this and not included in our any project but you can include it it is not an issue with the your app okay so just in, uh, ignore it it is not an issue uh, now you have to click on save after save it is uh, showing that ready to send for review our app is ready to send to for reviewing to the google steam okay so let's click on go to publishing overview if by default it is not showing here then you can check it here okay now what we can do what is this thing okay it is nothing leave it uh, now you have to click on this send 14 changes for review okay now click on this button after clicking this button your app will be sent to the google steam for reviewing and after reviewing if they found it is should be on place console uh, store then they will uh, publish it otherwise they will reject it and send you an email what the issue is going here okay so every time should you check your emails which you have provided uh, in your play console okay 
now click on this button it is asking are you sure you want to ready to publish or app so select this one okay as you can see it has been sent for review okay now if you do, if you want to manage uh, send automatically publishing you have to turn it on okay but it is like this one is good okay so now go back to the all apps now as you can see our package name is showing now and uh, game name is showing icon logo showing and update status in review we have uploaded it on 8 december 2023 means today okay so click on this button and as you can see it is under review so when you it is published then you uh, you can view it here okay but it is not live so it will not showing anything okay when it it is rejected or live you will get email hope you have understand if you feel anything issue feel free to contact me i am always here okay so this video has been completed i hope you have understand